Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And that is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And that's my shovel, and that's my container that I'm going to put my paint in and scoop it out. I just did a, a, a ring, excuse me, I just did a overlapping ribbon pour. So, and I did it out of my shovel. There's all kinds of weird stuff in there. Come out here, weird stuff. I'm going to use Anita's white metallic in the bottom because I want some some kind of inexpensive filler and I don't mind having the white. I've got a bunch of magentas and I'd like to use blocky colors and I, maybe next time I will use the, um, the copper I was just thinking about. If I use the white, any white at all, I can use the the neon purple from folk art and keep its colors strong. I just tried it yesterday in a swipe that you've probably seen by now. Yes, that's not coming out quickly at all. I am going to put some black in here, but I'm going to make it black enamel. That way when I tip the canvas to have it stretch the paint out, I got more chance of making cells. I'm going to try and make different areas of color, but I don't necessarily guarantee I'm going to succeed. I'd like to see all the colors rather than putting them over each other. So when I add them in, I'm just adding them in one spot or two spots, but not necessarily overlapping. I'm going to use some hot orchid. If you ever have questions about what colors I use, please feel free to ask me. This is from Color Art. This is a prism pour. This is a Hobby Lobby brand or something I mixed recently more likely to make up a brand, make up a color that they no longer carry. Now I would love to use my Venetian blue and I really would love to use it, but it sinks every time. This is a mostly Anita's white metallic with some of the neon pink from folk art in it. And I'm contemplating some silver, but I think I'm going to go with the uh, the blue that's got a lot of Anita's white metallic in it again. Let's see what else I want. Do I want some gold in there? I might. I think I might also want some of my conventional wonderful favorite Still, even after Hot Orchid, Folk Art, Color Shifting, Purple. I don't have very many dark colors in there. So maybe I'll put a little more Dioxazine Purple in. And that one I'll let cross over. I'm going to want some more orange, I can tell right now. And maybe instead of having the, right, the orange I used, I'm going to use some 24 karat gold from Decor Americana with some orange in it. Now that I've got my colors and my shovel, I have to cover my canvas with a layer of paint. And I did it with my Amsterdam... I did it with my Amsterdam white, but I think I want to try it with my regular... my regular mixture of Artist Loft and Walmart semi-gloss move my paint bottles out of the way. I really don't want this too heavy, so if it turns out that it looks like it's too heavy, I'm going to take some off. Because I don't want to use my colors. Although, paint flows to paint, and uh, it would be really nice to be able to flow these ribbons, just like I'm imagining. That might be on a layer, a, a hefty layer. But I do, I've learned not to go too heavy. Not like the people who pour paint away to get the rest of the paint moved, but similar. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to apply this with the shovels, but generally speaking, I think it's best for me to try one section at a time and let it tip as far as I can. And that way I can add another section and I can add some other colors from the bottles to augment that. Okay, so I have a pretty nice even layer and a little extra on my spatula. But I don't see much canvas, which is 
the way I like it. Now it's time to take my beautiful paint, push my sleeve up. Scrape it off. Now it doesn't look like I got enough there, so I'm just going to keep shoveling. Only this time I'm going to go back to the beginning. Because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link under the link tree under the video. I like the multicolors. I am going to let that just go right over the edge, whatever's on the bottom of that shovel, and leave my pretty colors. My pretty, it's a painting in a pan. <laughs> pan painting. I'm going to let that shovel drain. The first thing I think of is taking another shovel full and just ribbon pouring it right over the top of that one. After I tip for a second, I might contemplate adding some more colors because I can and they're thinner where they're thinner they're not going to flow as fast and I had a really good time with my last painting and I did add some colors to it that is a bubble go away bubble I can see some cells already. That's pretty cool. The black enamel will usually do that. I think I'm going to use some more black enamel, actually. Just to fill in right down here. Because I can. Who knows how much of that paint I'm going to use, but I can always use it for another painting, so I'm not too worried about it. You can make heavier sections and they will run faster and create a different pattern. I haven't let any of that run down and I kind of want to. Just keep letting it run. I'm really tempted to get out my, um, my Venetian blue because I love it and it doesn't stay very well. So I want to try it right now. while I'm tipping to see if that can help me figure out the best way to save it. <clears throat> oh, why am I being called to turquoise? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going to do it. There's a fair amount of flow troll in there. I think I shake, shook it up, but maybe not quite enough. But that's okay, because I've been using flow troll for swipe recently anyway. It is fun to work in sections for me. I admit, I really like working in sections. <clears throat> and as soon as you're ready, you can tip any which way you want. I mean, it's not an exact formula for sure. This is, this is about being creative and following instincts. This is spontaneous. And I am going to grab spontaneously. <laughs> some of that purple flash from folk art and I might even grab a straw to move it around a little see that blue is in there it's just not coming out I want to swipe you know what I'm just gonna be weird now I'm gonna take my flow troll and my card And I'm going to pull that blue paint right down out of there just to see what's going to happen. Grab a little more flow troll. And I can always ribbon pour right over the top of it, so I'm not too worried about that. I have more flow troll on the opposite side of my card. And there's no rules, so I can tip. I could chain pull, I could do whatever I wanted to do. I could run my card right back up into the into the shape up there and down again. I like dragging the black up and and then down again. That's pretty cool. 
think I'm going to get rid of the rest of my paint here. Right on the edge of the canvas, just because I can. No clue what I'm doing, but I'm still doing it. And I'm having a good time doing it. Thank you guys for joining me, by the way. I'm really glad you're here. And uh, if you're interested in more videos, I have lots. I've got over 1,800 videos, and if you're looking for them, you can ask me about a su subject, or you can look on my YouTube channel for creative playlists, all playlists. I don't see enough orange in there, just like I was thinking earlier, so I'm going to put some orange in the middle over some of my colors, and like so, and grab some of that pink and the rest of that orange, and I'll probably wish there was some black in there in a moment. rest that shovel. I'm just going to freeform it. I've done that in the past. I like how it works out. That's a beautiful set of colors right there. I'm completely enamored of that. That's awesome. So I wonder how far I can flow them down in. And everything else evidently too. Well, I'm okay with that. I'm just having a good time, and I'm going to do some more of it. Um, I'm going to grab a different shovel and some of the black. I want some of the black to come out, though. There we go. Just back and forth. It doesn't have to be anything special. As long as the colors are special, you're going to get something interesting. I like that texture. It's not going to stay, unfortunately. I'm going to tip what I consider to be the wrong way first, because I want to spread it out this way after. I gave myself permission yesterday, watching the numbers of viewers dwindle, and I get subscribers and then I see them go away. But um, I gave myself permission to just do whatever I feel like doing, and this is fun. <laughs> I'm going to grab some more colors and a little more orange. And where am I going to go? I'm going to go here. I don't want it too heavy near the edge because I think I'm going to wind up tipping that in a second. I might even not mind swallowing some of that stuff I see in there right now. This reminds me of some of the other things I've been doing recently in a series and I like, I don't know what to call them. They're, they usually go diagonally across. So they're sort of like my old fashioned, I have a playlist called Sweeps. So they sort of remind me of that. You gotta be careful of orange with anything because it tends to want, as you mix it, it tends to become something that I don't want. So I'll probably cover that with something else. I'm gonna lose my negative space pretty quick if I'm not careful. It seems like I'm not being careful enough, so I'm gonna let. See, this is heavier, so it's moving faster, and I kind of would love for that to move, but I also think I'm gonna lose a whole lot of things that I liked about this. If I'm not careful. Of course they might be cooler when I tip them too and I won't know unless I'm willing to risk it. So I'm just going to keep tipping and I think it might be really soon that I should contemplate using the torch. I am going to grab some of my pink Now, I'm not making very exact overlapping marks, I can tell you, because I like the idea of learning how it all works, larger and smaller. But I do realize that the larger ones flow faster. I'm going to bring that right over 
here, hopefully. I have torches and paint in my way. And I don't want to stick my finger in the paint if I don't have to. So I'm going to cant the edge catcher so that it's just on the part of the painting that I want to use, use it on and rock the edge. I'm not so sure about this. So I'll just let it go right down wherever it wants to. Yeah, there's that dangerous orange. So I'm going to take some of my pretty colors and apply them where I see that I have stuff I wouldn't mind covering up. Not sure about that, but I have lots more where that came from, so... I'm happy to let that fall down over the edge. I pretty much have confidence that no matter how badly I have potential for messing up as I go along, that there's a pretty decent chance that I can rescue something. I don't like that yellow there as much as I want, as, I, as much as I was as expecting. So I have two minutes left, and that's not really enough. Um, <laughs> I'll give it a shot anyway. I want something to go right in and swallow those. And maybe there's going to have to be a part two, although I would prefer there was not. Yeah, that's all right. That's kind of exactly what I had in mind. Now I just need to deal with this last side over here. And I can do that pretty easily by adding another shovel full of paint. And it is what it is. And hopefully I'll be done. So I should tell you guys, I have over 91,000 subscribers. And if you're new, please be welcomed. And if you're not new, thank you very much for being here all this time, however long that is. I'm going to let, ooh, those are some incredibly cool colors. I want those to go all the way down. The edge of the canvas if I can possibly manage it and of course everything else is moving too so look under the video for my link tree where you can find Pinterest Instagram Twitter links and Facebook groups expression to start studio gallery appreciation group is for students expression to start studio gallery totes and more is for shoppers or shopping pixels.com and fine art America actually and uh, if you're interested in getting in the monthly drawing you can see what the prizes are for those of you who decide to contribute to help keep the studio rolling through PayPal or Patreon, that's not making me happy yet. But I've got some prettier colors right here. And I think it's going to be okay. I got one minute left. And I like some things about this, but not everything. No idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to give it a shot. I think there's some black in my future, and it definitely doesn't need to be the enamel. So I love you guys. <laughs> if you shop my Amazon link, it's at no ad cost to you and it helps me out. And uh, I think I'm gone. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. <laughs>